Moin, moin, Guinness! Und willkommen zurück zu Let's Play The Walking Dead. Wir haben es gerade geschafft, einer Zombieherde zu entkommen. Ein Tee-Service. <lacht> das glaube ich dir, nachdem du so eine Scheiße durchgemacht hast. Komm, sein Bein ist auch immer noch verletzt. Und wir haben irgendjemanden hier gesehen. Jemand, der in diese Richtung gelaufen ist. Wo kommt das ab in den Pool? Nicht möglich, hm? Ich glaube, es wäre besser, wenn wir erstmal ins Haus gehen. Ich denke mal, da sind wir definitiv sicherer als auf, 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 auf offene Straße. Das ist eine gute Frage. Aber wir sind ja auch in Amerika. Nicht, dass ich hier einfach abgeknallt werde, wegen Hausfriedensbruch und so. Machen wir mal auf. Oh, es geht tatsächlich. <lacht> er weiß Bescheid. Hallo? Ich bin nicht ein Intruder. Oder einer von Oh, fuck. Das Blut. Was ist hier? Malbuch? Oh, Einhorn, wie süß! Und Blut. Oh, Jesus. Huh? Im Ernst jetzt? Du rutschst darauf aus? Ach, Freundchen, ey. Das bin ich erstmal voll mit Blut. Das, das ist auf jeden Fall richtig, richtig gut. Was haben wir hier? Wasser. Ja, ich weiß, Anrufbeantworter. Wir kümmern uns gleich drum. Was ist das? Das Ort wurde ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Das kannst du doch gar nicht wissen. Ah, okay. Erstmal einstecken, ey. Was ist das? Messer und Küche. Gibt es doch bestimmt irgendwie ein Messer. Damit könnten wir uns doch zum Beispiel verteidigen. Marshalls. Das ist ein Savannah Area Code. Aber das ist der Typ von Note, die du einen Babysitter lassen So, so. Jetzt rutscht bitte nicht wieder schon, äh, schon wieder darauf aus. Gut. Wieder schon, schon wieder. Interagieren wir mal. Ich weiß. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. Das ist 911. Wir lieben dich. Wir lieben dich. Wir lieben dich. Oh shit. Das ist dann wohl Clementine. Hä? Huh? Hallo? Du musst ruhig sein. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. 
But I'm hiding until my parents come home. Okay. Aber wo? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh shit. Oh shit, was mache ich? M M M Q. Und E. Oh fuck. Das meinst du nicht ernst, oder? Ähm, wo? Oh shit, oh shit! Kuh, 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 kuh. Ähm, ähm. Alter. Das war... Das war krass. Wie dieser Trottel aber auch immer hinfällt, ne? <lacht> Zu okay. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Oh, gute Frage, ey. Also im Dunkeln würde ich nicht so gern weg, deswegen würde ich sagen, wir suchen Hilfe, bevor es dunkel wird. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Ja, geil! Ich meine, ich weiß ja, dass er ein Bein fällt und er dementsprechend sich nicht so toll bewegen kann, aber dass er zweimal auf der gleichen Blutwürze ausrutscht. <lacht> what the fuck, Lee? Einfach what the fuck. Ähm, um, wollte gerade sagen, kann ich mich nicht bewegen oder was? Nicht so schnell, Clementine, ich bin verletzt. Nein, da. Und da will ich hin. Ja? Kann ich mit dir reden? Nee. Hey, wie seid ihr denn? I never get home alone with this right. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Oh nein, wir verpassen eine Mahlzeit. Scheiß auf den Weltuntergang. Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Well, for a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? 
You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. B. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Oh, schon wieder ein Quicktime-Event. Sehr schön. Obwohl diesmal nicht ganz so quick wie letztes Mal. <lacht> Just some guy? Seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. So be in a tart, but ziemlich heldenhaft müsst ihr wissen. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Okay. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel! How did this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full <laughs> up of mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. 
I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets Could have it in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Hmm. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh, das ist voll traurig. Er gönnt sich erstmal einen Albtraum. Hey, <lacht> bei ihm. Get up. Hallo. Oh, well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <lacht> But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of the fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, das klingt doch sehr gut. Dann wissen alle, was sie zu tun haben. Okay, ich würde sagen, wir machen hier einen Cut und schauen in der nächsten Folge, wie wir den Zaun weiter reparieren können und ob wir mit dem guten Kenny und seiner Family dann nach Macon fahren. Sprechen Sie mit jedem, aber nicht heute. Ich sage vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal bei Let's Play The Walking Dead. Auf Wiedersehen.